Yes, look at this thing, how cool is that? It's the 1987, the Steel Panther signature pedal by All Pedal. And this reminds me of back in the day when we didn't need to watch 50 comparison videos to decide that we wanted something. We just open up the pages in the magazine, see it and just drool until we got it. And that's exactly this pedal. So today we're gonna to fire it up and hear how it sounds. Now I thought we'd bring out two special guitars for today's video. My original gem from back in the 80s, because it matches. So this is one of those guitars that I opened up the back page of the magazine. I saw this custom thin pink Les Paul that was glowing, my eyes lit up, and I pleaded with my dad and eventually this guitar arrived and it was like one of those disappointments because now I was into Hamer, BC Rich, Ibanez. And this guitar didn't have the, the neck profile that I was kind of looking for that I tried in guitar stores. So it was like, oh, disappointment. So then we made the decision to fund other guitars to sell this guitar. And then we kind of regretted that decision. A couple of years later, randomly, me and my dad were at an auction house and we saw the exact same guitar that we sold a few years earlier hanging on the wall. I mean, what are the chances? My dad wasn't expecting to buy a guitar or spend that kind of money. So we ended up, well I say we, my dad ended up swapping his van for this guitar. So we had to walk home, but at least we got the guitar back. In honor of that moment, we're gonna blast it out today with the 1987 pedal. Let's get right into it, let's go. All right, so the 1987 is a distortion and delay pedal. On the bottom row, we have level, tone, and gain. And on the top row, we have level, feedback, and delay. Both the distortion and delay can be turned on and off independently. So this is the tone that I'm using with no pedal engaged. A little bit of reverb delay on there, but we'll turn that off in just a moment. And the preset that I'm using is a dedicated preset that I made for this video. It's called 1987 Gain in the Polychrome DSP plugin. And the way I have this set up right now is I've got just a little bit of level coming out of the pedal, quite a bit of tone and quite a bit of drive. And that gives you more of a classic rock sort of sound. So as I'm chugging there, it's not super tight. And that's the cool thing with drive pedals like this. If we turn down the drive and turn up the level, you get a totally different sound. We hear much more of that pick attack, more articulation on the notes. Just see how much we can keep pushing it. <laughs> I 
Hi, I just wanted to let you know that Polychrome DSP has just launched the Spring Extravaganza Sale, where you can get 20% off my signature plugin, the McRocklin Suite. This is the plugin that I use for everything now, from acoustics to cleans to broken up edge sounds to full on high gain shred, full gain stuff. There's over 400 presets, so there's something for everyone in the plugin. But we're also including the Mega Studio Pack, which is over $85, absolutely free in the sale. So you're gonna get 257 electronic style jam tracks. These are the tracks that I use on live streams, so they're a lot of fun to shred over. I'm also including the New Beginnings back in track collection, as well as 100 McRocklin and Hutch drum samples. So kicks, snares, toms, the full nine yards. So I'll leave all the details down below if you want to check it out for yourself or head to polychromedsp.com. All right, thank you so much. Back to the video. The reverb after the amp, but the delay in front. You get that kind of nice self oscillation. It's really cool. I don't use it that often, certainly in software, but having had this set up like this, I think it's really, really nice. So let's try an edge amp. So that's a little bit rough. It's kind of like if I turn the delay off here. In fact, let's turn the reverb and the plugin off as well. This is how it sounds, just totally raw. Just kind of on the edge of breakup. Let's switch to the eight band EQ and bring in some more bass. Just fill that out a little. Let's turn on the chorus for a second with this gain sound. Oh, that's retro, man. That's bringing me right back to those skyscraper days where you had that really kind of very subtle modulated chorus sound that Vi did really, really well. Uh, I'm just using the chorus in the Polychrome DSP plugin here, but it works so well from that tone. That's off. Let's turn that on. Man, my knob fell off. That's a clear sign that we've played enough notes today. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you want to see and hear the 1987 live in action, don't forget to follow me over on Twitch. Links in the description below. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Take care. Thanks.